Okay. Is it going? Yeah. Yep. Hello, everyone. <laughs> now for the easiest part of the most dangerous project yeah. I've done in a while. <laughs> Hopefully easiest. And that's lifting these trusses up into the tree. All right. There's that hook down there. Okay. So that's got a big winch down. Yeah, this, this still is a little slick. All right. So this rope, this has got to go all the way over here, out of the way. Keep this right out of our tag lines here. Okay. So we got the far tag line, which we got to keep. I'm gonna go over. You got the near one, Jake. No. And then this needs to go up underneath that. All right, that's your tagline. So, let me hit the key. Hey, Cool. All right, hold on. You're, you're, oh, this is, yeah, yeah, you're all jacked up there, Scott. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. The power train is working. Wow. Impressive. Once we get one on, right. I think I can, you know, I think I could, you know, use the winch to pull the other side into place, right? Okay, we're close there, Jake. You gotta swing out that way. Let me see what I got here. Let me see if I can... Whoa, look out. I wish it was more centered. You gotta go up higher. Yeah, we gotta go higher. Much higher. Unless you can swing here, you it want up me to... that side on first. That's what I was thinking too, yeah. Jeff, the high side. Yeah, okay, right now. Let's, we're going to try to swing that other one in. Yeah. Okay, right there. Okay, right there, cool. hang it. Hang on. Well, you got to get it on the... You got to go down. You got to go out. You want me to... Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll go a little press. higher. Or I can pull down. Pull up. Okay, right there. Ah! Yeah. Watch it. <laughs> Pull it down it. more. Yes, because I, I, I may have trouble. Great. I'm holding ah! it back. Balance it, but be it's careful. Holding it back. Ain't worth. <laughs> more. Uh, so go after the mouth. A little more. Ready. Oh. Uh. Going for the mouth. Nope. Nope. No. She's good. Son of a. I'm so close to this one. Uh, ah! yeah. Ready? Okay, Scott, I'm gonna try to get the back one on first. Okay. So I need you to pull a pretty good pull. Ready? Ready, go! Oh, no, no, it was a Scott. Big pull. Oh, now you're not around that one, though. You, it's got, there you go, Scott. I'm, yeah, you, can you angle further out just a little bit that way? Which way? Out towards the trail. Yep. Yep, yep, like that. I, I got it. See, I'm hitting. Somewhere. It's got to be pulled harder, Scott. Okay, hold on. It's got to get out and away from the tree. There we go. Now we're looking better. It's got bigger, better pull. There you go. There you go. Almost. Almost. Come on, you sucker. Get in there. So close. Yes. Got one on. Okay. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh, oh. 
All right. <laughs> All right, Dad, let tension off. Tension off? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, get this yeah, oh yeah, it's all a little sketchy. This is a very sketchy project, guys. Very sketchy. <laughs> right up my alley. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm sliding. I'm bringing her down with this up. Uh, give me that hook there, Scott. Tell you what, if you go, if you want to here, I'll hold this for now. Mm -hmm. I'll throw it over for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm gonna There's a clearing right there. Yeah. And just so you guys know, the ticks are like nothing around here. I mean, yeah, it's not. He's training. Like the ladder. There she goes. This rope is around the a cap. Yeah. That, that rope up there is hung up. You know what, Dad? Can you start it? Other way, other way. Other way. Yep. Do you want the 
nut, Jeff? Come on! Those threads are going to be jacked up. I know. Yeah, I'm going to come out a little bit. Right there. All right. You were doing all right pounding it. That has to feel they a good feeling. They fairly level. Yeah, the rest of it is down um, really Pretty excited about the next. So the next stage now is to run four by six timbers, 16 feet long, this wow. way. I have 12 inch center holes drilled here on both pieces that will be lag bolted from the underside. Then I'm going to run some stay poles at the corners of that because it might be a little unstable four by four staples, one at each corner, and uh, and then going to do decking, five quarter decking on top of that. Jake, you're right. So, down there. there we go. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Okay, cool, so we had a little bit of an issue with the level of the trusses here and uh, they're kind of twisted. This right back here was low and that uh, left front uh, is also low. So using some HDME plastic um, that should be good for, you know, 100 years um, for a shim up in the front <clears throat> underneath the bracket and then I did this here with the same material um, see right there a little close up and uh, so this came up a half inch up there is gonna go up about an inch and uh, it'll be close enough it'll still be a hell like a half inch out of level but whatever close enough and then we got the four by sixes uh, old trailer full of those 14 of them and so I'm gonna start trying to get those up there myself here so we'll see what happens it's gonna be a little tricky trying to get the first one up on the uh, on the front there <clears throat> and then if I can get one more up there and like put it behind the tree then I get like a little platform and then I can just kind of slide them up onto there all right here we go <clears throat> so I've gotten four beams up so far four by six uh, by 16 foot treated and putting them on edge and uh, lagging them from the other underside with my pre-drilled holes and uh, so I'm going to show you how I've been getting them up. First one was a little tricky. After that, it's not too bad. So I mark a center line on the piece.
this one I'm going to drop in kind of in between them. And uh, I might go with the far one actually. centered, turn it, pop it in, check for crown, I'm going to do crown up if possible. Kind of nice that these uh, trusses are up here now. It gives me a little holding spot for my tape measure, for my impact gun. And there we go. That's how the beams go up. So, some plywood up there, continue on. And uh, I think it's going to get easier from here. Well, it's pretty amazing what you can do in a couple hours. Well, more than a couple, four hours. A lot of work, but look at this. 16 footers, all in. Just about 16 feet long. Some tree trimming to do. I was leaving that stuff up to hang on to while I was doing all the other work. Yeah, I'll have to trim some of these up, get better shooting lanes. So we're going to put this uh, four by six out on each end there to kind of tie it in. I'm going to put it on edge like that on the end. And so I just put uh, a couple blocks there, one there and one there to rest it on. I picked the kind of low ones so that way I got room to move it up. And uh, so I'm going to drill holes. I'm going to mark it all out. Drill holes, two holes uh, for each end for uh, light bolts, some long light bolts. So I just got this other outside one just set in place on the blocks there. So uh, first time I tried, I dropped it down and I just ended up tipping it over to there and getting the quad and going down and getting it and coming around because there's no way it was dragging it up the hill. Got the other one in over there, and that's looking good. Got kind of a span here now. Got to get some deck boards on pretty quick. So this time, though, I held it with this rope going over the hook with a clove hitch down there, and, uh, yeah, it's actually holding it tight right now, so that's good. All right. So, just put this other side on, lagged it in, the impact, like eight inch lags. To the outside, I countersunk it. 
and uh, use galvanized uh, three eighths with um, three eighths by eight with a washer. And uh, so it's got a real good bite. You know, some differences in the lengths on some of these, whatever, little gap. But it really did tie the whole thing together. So when you bounce on it, it's kind of all together now. So going to do the decking tomorrow and uh, see how she looks. So here we are about, oh, Ooh, Brent just cut down a big tree in the woods. Could hear that thing fall from a mile away. So, got the deck almost done. And uh, started over on this side. And just getting one screw. One screw on, on one side for now. I'll come back through and do all the other second screws later but at least i can get all the boards down and um yeah working out good just lining the screws up going back tweaking the board pulling it in as i go and putting the screw in Finally got home at a decent time. Just relaxing with my new view. That's gonna be food plot there. Trees trimmed, plenty of view. So just uh, got this railing done, and uh, so you see a vice grip there. And so I started off the spool here, went down to the low hole, ran that all the way around, had to pull slack out, you know, here and there. And, uh, and then I ended up just kind of running just measures across, you know, the, the deck back and forth, back and forth to measure off, you know, a pile in the middle once I got to this point. And then just looped it from the bottom up to the top hole and then ran that back. So coming all the way back around, keeping tension on it a couple places with, um, you know, vice grip, you know, getting to a certain point, boom. That way I could kind of let up, take a break for a second and then uh, pull the rest of the way. And then here I just looped it back up around to the top and uh, just I made that hole bigger here just came back through it with uh, this other one and um, you bolted that all together so this whole thing took two u-bolts that's it so yeah and it's actually uh, pretty tight you know it might need some tension here or there over the years but uh, I can do that, so, all right. First guitar playing on the new treehouse deck. What is it? Uh, 18th September, 
and here comes the kid on the hopped up 50. Wide open now, spiraling. 